everybody Andy here again down on the beach enjoying the last days of summer I think uh, 21st of September don't know when this will get posted but you can see from uh, the light as to what a day it is it's an absolutely glorious day here today but uh, that isn't what I want to talk about that's what I did an audio book about just when it go instead uh, this morning I went to the library and uh, one of those things yeah not, not a great you know world revolutionary stuff but uh, one of those things that I've done thinking about finances and all that not gonna go into that but just you know you're cutting back on things and think well I haven't been to the library for some time I always used to belong to the library but still have still had the card and everything but renewed my membership a few weeks ago and got a couple of books out, didn't pay too much attention, just had a quick scoot around I think and got a couple of books that immediately drew my attention. But today I went in there to take one of the books back and didn't really have any intention of getting any more. Um, but I thought well I'll have a wander around and I found three books and I bought them home, I've, I've loaned them out from the library. Obviously it's, this is all for nothing and that's one of the beauties, one of the great things about a library. It's free, you don't have to pay for anything. And when I got home it sort of made me think about it. That, um, I, these three particular books that I got, one's a history of punk music, okay, something that interests me, but I've, I've never heard of the books, so I probably would never have seen it before, I never would have bought it probably. One about blogging, well, okay, I'll do that anyway, but it doesn't matter, it didn't cost me anything. And one about uh, the internet and web design and that, something that I've got a bit of an interest in and I'd like to do a bit of, but once again, three books there that I never would have bought. A, because the blogging side of thing, I tend to think that I know a bit about it because I do it, but who knows what you might learn and that's really the point of what I'm saying here and what I said in the tweet earlier and someone actually remarked on the beauty you can go into a library you can pick things up that you would never either look at or you would certainly never buy on Amazon or at your local bookstore or whatever it is like that because it costs you money unless you know money's no object or someone sends you these things for free which to most of us the vast majority of us we're not going ever going to be in that situation are we so it's great to be able to do that and it opens up a whole lot of learning because you can pick and choose things you can you can try things out you can dip into subjects that you would never ever have bothered with you certainly wouldn't want to spend 10 pounds or 15 dollars or whatever it is on a book that you don't know if you're actually going to like i know we always take a chance to an extent of course we do but at least we've got you know we, we do a bit of research before we actually buy the book we have a look through it in a bookstore or something like that or read the reviews on the web or something like that um, but with this it doesn't matter, you can take it, I mean, if you don't like it you can just take it back the next day or the next week or something and try something else. So I suddenly thought well this could be a good opportunity and what I did this morning, got a couple of books, mainly as research as much as anything else, things that I know a little bit about but I might not know, I might learn a lot from it and, and that's something as I said I would never have bought these books if it hadn't been for that. And it made me think, once again, go diver, diverging off the subject. But in some ways, isn't that what the internet's a bit like? The libraries are like the internet of the past in a way. They're free, you know, okay, you have to pay a connection, but you have to pay usually your council tax or something like that to get your, to get your, get your library card from the town that you live in. Um, but once again, that's a good resource as well, isn't it? So there you go, a little bit of a thought there. The internet is, uh, well, the library is like a forerunner of the, uh, of, the, of the internet, a primitive internet, if you will, where you can go in, browse, pick and choose things, do a bit of research, light on something, have a read of something you never would have touched in a million years before and it doesn't cost you anything does it? So uh, I'm going to keep going A with the internet but certainly with the library as well and hopefully uh, learn quite a bit and dip into topics and subjects that I never would have tackled or got an interest in before and who knows where that might lead. I say it's, uh, it's free as well and I'm glad in some ways uh, lots of things have come out of this sort of unemployment retirement thing that you would re-evaluate which I've spoken about before but another one of those little aspects that I never even thought about before as I say hadn't been to the library I used to buy books all over the place some of which I read some of which I don't I've still got piles of them <laughs> which is one reason why I wasn't going to get books out today but you're never quite sure of that one that might make a bit of a difference the one that I've just read is something I've opened I knew of the John Peel book that I mentioned in an audio book, The Olivetti Chronicles. I knew of the book, but it decided, no, I don't think I'll bother with that. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, I never would have read that if it hadn't been for the fact of joining that library again. So, there's a lesson for myself and maybe a lesson for everybody else. <laughs> the internet and libraries, inexplicably linked <laughs> by lots and lots of time. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. And I'm going to enjoy the sunshine down on the beach. Goodbye.